Hello in grade threes, uh, welcome to your first online art class with me, Mr. Graham. So today we are going to be doing um, something looking at looking at South African crafts. Now we are looking at obviously there are many many different cultures in this country of ours. We've got uh, Oza, Zulu, Nebele, Shona, so many. Uh, but we're going to look at the Zulu culture and we're going to look at the way that they make their pots. Now the reason we're looking at this is because of this artwork which I have up on my wall. I was given it as a wedding present. And I thought it was quite beautiful and it made quite a nice artwork for us in school. You can see how beautiful and big it is. All right. Now we are obviously, uh, before we, we actually draw um, any pots ourselves, we have to know a bit more about the Zulu culture and a bit more about the way that they made their pots. Um, so take a look at the PDF I'm, I'm posting as well, because it's got all the information you're going to need. Um, once you've looked at that, um, we, we're going to get started. Now, before you draw your pot, guys, think about what your pot is going to be used for. My pot is going to be for making magical potions on the side. So it's going to be a special pot, so it's going to have other things besides the pot itself. Um, all right, and then what shape is your pot? Now, most pots will probably be based on a circle, which you then grow things out of. Um, so to draw a circle, guys, the proper way to draw a circle, you can't just use your wrist. A wrist will not be a perfect circle. Um, you can't even just use your elbow and wrist. And um, the best way to draw a circle, guys, is to use your shoulder. Because the shoulder does make a nice circle. Okay, so before we start drawing, we have to do a bit of warming up. So take your arm out like this and, and start getting used to drawing a circle using your shoulder joint. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw mine. Um, I'm going to draw one big pot and maybe two smaller pots. You, you can add other things into your scene if you want to, guys. But keep it fairly simple because most of what we're going to be doing is using a color. For coloring in, guys, obviously the real one and the one I wanted to do with you in class was going to use paint. But I understand some of us might not have paint. Um, so I am going to use oil pastel instead. Oil pastel is also a very nice medium. It acts a bit like paint as well, a bit like oil paint. So it's very nice. Okay, take a look. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So remember, I've warmed up my arm, my shoulder. So now I'm going to start off by drawing a circle. Now I draw softly. Okay, you draw softly and you carry on drawing until you find the perfect circle. There, yeah, I quite like that one. Okay, now I've, I've drawn a lot of circles there. There's a lot of lines you can see here. Um, now I'm going to add on the top part of my pot. Now guys, it won't just be a straight line at the top because you can see slightly down inside it. Um, it won't be too big a circle either. But take a look at this. This is what I'm using to do my, um, put my shaving, my pencil sharpenings in. Can you see? Now that would be a straight top. But as it goes down, you can start seeing inside it. Can you see that? And as it goes up, you can start seeing it rounded. Now this here, I'm seeing, I'm thinking we can maybe see inside it a little bit, like these parts here. You can see inside them a little bit. So I am going to draw mine a little bit round at the top there. Same thing guys, I just use my whole arm. Okay, now I'm going to carry on working on my one. I'm going to add how many pots I want. I need a floor. If you want, I'm going to have a bit of a tablecloth probably. And because mine are magical potions, I'm going to have other things going on around it. When we are coloring in guys, we're going to have to use kind of the whole page. Now I'm doing mine A3 because I have A3 paper. But I understand some of you might not have A3, you might only have A4 which is the smaller printer pages, that's fine guys, use whatever you have. Um, obviously this is not perfect times because normally we'll be in class and I will give you all the stuff you need. But use whatever you have, make the most beautiful artwork that you can have and have fun with it guys, just really enjoy it. Okay, um, when you are finished, I will, I will be posting this as an activity on your grade three class dojo. Um, so you, when you're finished, Take a photo of your artwork and post it there, um, and I will affirm it as as completed, and I'll I will post a comment on it as well. Um, and 
I'm going to choose some of the best works to put onto our um, our CB, CBP Express dot WordPress dot dot com the our blog site for our art. Okay, awesome.